What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another put draft challenge. I haven't, obviously the, the draft video that's due to go live at 9pm yesterday hasn't gone live yet, so I don't know what challenges you guys want uh, me to do. So we were talking stream, talking to stream about it, and um, the first one that they wanted to see was an 11 nations foot draft challenge. That's what we're going to start with. Uh, obviously, the idea is very simple. We have to have 11 nations in the starting lineup. We can take anyone we want, and we want to try and get the highest possible rating. And so I am going to start with Kingsley Coman, because there's a lot of good Byron players. Like, we can get Lewandowski and Kimmich, and then that's three nations, but great links, right? <laughs> Where's Le Yeah, see? Boom. There's Lewandowski, and he's the highest rated. So, of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up on the video, it'd be very much appreciated. Witzel would work here as well a little bit. Emre Chan also... Gives Coman full chem, gives lower full chem, get soft chem, third nation, no drums. In at right mid. Bomb. Here we go. We'll go with Hakimi because we got Lukaku up front and then any Syria centre mid in the mid, like Kessier or something. Or we could go with Pepe because the Bamiang does pop a lot. Or just go any Premier League players, and that's another good set of players. Don't really want to go Rafa, because it'll be really difficult to link him. Let's go Pepe. And see. Ooh, ah, can't take Laka. I think we're going to take Laka. Even though we won't be able to start him, but we might be able to start him and take out Coman, depending on the rest of the draft. And so, yeah, so Ndidi is very good. We just need to get rid of Lacazette up front. Now we can go Premier League down the right-hand side. Do we have English yet? We don't. So we can take James. That's not a problem. We can't take Mukiel because French. And then we can go Bundesliga down the left-hand side. Oh, Real Madrid, David Alaba. Matt's Hummels, but we can't take a German because we've already got Emery Chan. Iolini could work, but we'd struggle to get good links on him. I think David Alaba could be a good shout because Sergio Ramos and Thibaut Courtois could go in and it would be, uh, it would be quite a good little setup. Of course, we've got to focus on rating, but in this sort of draft challenge... Man, Varane is such a good setup, but then we'd have to get rid of Lacazette and Coman. So I'm going to go PK. And yeah, so with this challenge, obviously, it's not just... Would be a fool not to take Chilwell. And again, I know I know that doesn't bode well for chemistry. Big little Kalor Navas. Now, if we take Edison, we haven't got a Brazilian yet. So we just got to change his back line a little bit. And Lacazette. And that's it. And then we've got a good draft. And of course, if you guys want to share with me. Yes, Lunin's good. Boom. That's very good. Now we don't have to change this back line at all. Now all we need to do is get rid of Lacazette and Chilwell. Or Lacazette and James. Go on, Icons. Oh. oh. My Ele doesn't link to anyone. Ashley Cole's English. Now, Ashley Cole works. And then we just get rid of James. Gives PK full chem. Gets full chem. Trent obviously is super high rated, but I think we've got to have Ashley Cole here. And now the only thing we need to get rid of is James. And Lacazette. But with Edison there, we have no duplicate nations other than James and Lacazette. Can't take Trippier. Can't take Espilicueta. Can't take Jesus Navas because of PK. We could take Jesus Navas and get rid of PK and play a different centre back there. And then Navas would get and give, well, we'd get good chem and give full chem to David Alaba currently. Can't take Mukiel. Similarly, we could do the same with Jordi Alba. Put him on that left-hand side. 
for Ashley Cole on that right hand side and then get rid of PK. I'm going to take Jordi Alba. I'm going to take Jordi Alba there. I know we've got a fair few uh, pullbacks. Marco Royce doesn't work because German. Berardi just doesn't fit. Let's take Royce there for the rating. Oh, could have taken Kostic there. That's a big, big miss, that is. Oh, Naby Keita. No. Oh, Kostic would have been perfect. Would have been able to get rid of Coman, get full chem. We would have lost some chemistry on uh, Lewandowski. Let's take Cube Miners. I need some defenders, really. I need a Premier League striker. That's not, not going to work anywhere there. Or an icon. Damn. There's that Lukaku. Ooh, Jao Cancelo is good, isn't he? Portuguese. Don't have. Carrasco. Belgian. We don't have We don't have a set up there. Van Aanholt. We can't use. Lukaku would have been good if I took Hakimi. Saul doesn't work because we don't need Spain. Jao Cancelo is probably the best out here. We'll do that. Now we've just got two French players. So we could put Edison up there. And now we've got Ukraine, Portugal, Austria, Spain, England, France, Germany, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Brazil, and Poland. So we've got 11 different nations in there. We just don't have good chemistry. Good for ratings, Jean Felix. Not very good for anything else. Ashley Cole is a bit of a pain in the butt right now as well, to be fair. Always keen. Alian. Three picks to go. The biggest mistake we've made this draft is not taking Kostic. Can't fit Kramaric in. We'll take Tadic for the rating. Because Kostic would have got full chem, would have lost some chem on Lewa, but it would have allowed us to start Lacazette, which would have just been amazing for chemistry. That is a big, big miss, that is. None of that is too helpful either. Last pick. None of that is too helpful either. We'll take Triore. Eighty eight chemistry like that. Eighty seven chemistry like that. See, if we had Kostic, let's just assume that's Kostic. We would lose three, so we'd go down to 92 chemistry. Still not ideal, to be fair. So, well, it's better anyway to do that. I wonder then, we've got Premier League left back. I wonder if switching this around. So we went from 88. That takes us to 82. 85. Eighty-four, not quite good enough either. Oh, and two English players. Jordi Alba in there, then would need to get rid of PK. Yeah, it just doesn't work. The other way has to be. Oh no, hold on. Yes, yeah, the right back man. We just don't have a right back. That's fine. Apart from the fact that we don't have the right back either. So the other way is better. I think this is the best chem that we can get. That's 91 chemistry. Like that. And I think that's the best we can get. So with a manager. Let's put uh, Coman on the bench. And let's put Tadic on the bench. And let's put Ederson on the bench. 89 rated let's see what this first draft is going to come in at 
definitely take the English Premier League manager, 93 chem. Yeah, English Premier League manager. So the first draft, guys. What's that, 184? 182. Oh, god damn. Can't use James. I don't have James in there. Yeah, James isn't in the uh, in the team there, my man. But yeah, there you go. So the first draft, 89 rated, 93 chemistry. I'll see you guys in draft number two. All right, here we go. Into draft number two. That wasn't a bad attempt for the first attempt. Oh, God, those formations, though. Let's take the 4 2 3 1. Hopefully, we get a couple of icons in here to make this a bit easier. Oh. We do get an icon, which does make it a bit easier. But Haaland was such an off nation. Could have been so good. But you have to take a Ronaldinho when he Ronaldini shows. We'll go Bamford. Fine. He's English, but doesn't matter. Ooh, David Clarson. Oh, so you're just you're limiting yourself when you take a Dutch player. Bruno Fernandes is good. Muller's good again because of like lower. About it to be fair. Bruno Deshi could be good because of like Ronaldo. Fernandes is gonna be good. Fernandes is gonna be the best because there's just so many Premier League links there. Now we're going to take that Muller. We can't not. 94 team of the season. Thomas Muller in there is fantastic. In at DM. Oh, man. I'm going to take Kimmich. I know we can't use him or Muller. One of the other. But I'm going to take Kimmich because he's so high rated. So either he or Muller will go onto the bench. And just be in a real good spot on the bench. In at left back. Spanish Grimaldo. No links. English we've already got. But we could get rid of Bamford very easily. French but no links. I'm going to go Shaw here. We're going to get rid of Bamford. Next centre back spot. Can't take Klosterman or Ginter or Thiago Silva or Paulista. The Brazilians specifically because of Ronaldinho. We're going to have to go PK there. Ooh, Virgil van Dijk. That's why we didn't take the Dutch player before. Virgil van Dijk, very nice, goes in there. Yes, even the goalkeeper is going to be tough. Vaklik's going to have to be the guy that we take to link to PK. Now we're going to need a right back that works. Kufau kind of works. But also not at the moment. This, oh, Depravka is good. Dubravka. We can't take Edison because of Ronaldinho. So Dubravka comes in. Backlick. PK goes out there. That gives us a bit more chem. We just need to get rid of Bamford and either Muller or Kimmich. Take the three. We can't use him in the team, but good for the rating. Can't use Marquinhos. Ooh. Do we take Sace? Yes, we do. Pop him in there. Put those two around there. That's our chemistry. We have to get rid of two players. Have we got a Frenchman? We have not got a Frenchman. Doko works very nicely. That takes care of that problem. And that's why we took Kimmich, because he goes on the bench nice and high rated. So we either have to get rid of Bamford or Shaw. And that's it. Well, we're obviously going to take Lothar Mateus, aren't we? Pop him there. Wait, if we put Mateus there, that's 99 chemistry. That's also 99 chemistry. But that, that's going to be so easy to get 100 chem on now. That's really good. Ooh. We have a Frenchman now. We do. We've got Sissoko. <clears throat> we 
I guess we take Sanchez for that rating. He just goes on the bench. We're definitely going to get a really, really, really good draft here. Doesn't matter for those guys. We'll just take the highest rated. Five more picks to go. What is this draft challenge? This is the 11 Nations draft challenge. So we have a Portuguese. We already have uh, Bruno Fernandes. Could take Rashford in the hopes that we get another left back and get Shaw out. He's highest rated anyway, so I suppose it just makes the most sense. Oh, and another icon. Let's make it three. Wang. Wang at striker. Muller at... Not Muller. Um, Mateus. Yeah. Bomb. Bomb. 100 chemistry. No duplicate nations. Oh, we're good. I, I, I knew, yeah, I knew Muller and Lothar had to be removed, guys. I knew one of the two had to go. Just got to wait until I get to the end, man. Just got to wait until I get to the end. All right, we'll take Voland for the bench. Voland go on the bench just for Bamford. Wow, this isn't even a 190 yet. Jeez. Last but not least, we'll take Pogba for the bench. This has to be a 190, surely. Yes, it is. There you go. Hey, that's not bad. 190 in draft two for an 11 nation foot draft challenge. That's actually sick. What's up, Matt Powell? How you doing, man? That's actually sick. And I'll see you guys in the third and final attempt. Here we go, guys. Attempt number three. Let's get a formation with as little links as possible. 433 is brilliant for that. Oh, is that the good 451? No. 433 is brilliant for it. Let's see. We're going to start with Ferran Torres, 94 rated, followed by Ronaldo. Like, <laughs> protect Piontek. Yilmaz is probably a good idea to take, actually. Lots of uh, French league players in at left wing. 90. Hey, see what I'm saying? Lots of French league players. Come on, Idris. Oh, Idris Gay can't. But one Aldum can. Can't take Koke. Can't use Koke anyway. Same as Paulinho. We will take. We will take Paulinho for the rating. He's not going to stay in a team, obviously. Renato Sanchez, brilliant there. Gives Yilmaz full chem. It's a shame we didn't get a better version of him. Ooh, Kevin De Bruyne. Belgian beast, mate. Strong links, Ferran Torres. Give me Jao Cancelo, and then we're done down that right-hand side. Never mind. In a left back, Bernat. Erkin doesn't link to anyone. Mendy taking a French player for an 83 rated is a bit... Mm, I don't know about that. Might go with Jordi Alba here. Just because... Yeah, wasting a French spot. We got a Brazilian? Oh, we got lots of Brazilians. John Stones is all right. We don't have English yet. He can go there. That gives us very good chemistry down that side. That's why I wanted to hold on to the French player. I medic Laporte can go in there. Also very good for chemistry now. Obviously, we've got a few changes we need to make here. We can't take Allison. Neymar's just going to stay in the team now. We've got to get rid of two Brazilians. I think we're going to take Oblak. Super high rated. And we're going to go La Liga down this left-hand side. And then that's going to be that. First goalkeeper. Oh, Dubravka's very nice for it, though. Gives us a little bit of a little bit of extra chemistry there. A little bit of extra chemistry there. We still need to get rid of some Brazilians. Icons, please. Oh, Yes. I mean, that's good and bad at the same time, isn't it? Because if, when we take him, we have to get rid of him. Now, it gives a big chemistry boost. But it's not the one. It's good for rating, this one. What we want here? Anton at right back to get rid of one of the Brazilians. Tete at right back. Yeah, Tete is higher rated. 
or Haps at left back. Let's take Tete for that right back role. Right, so we need to get rid of Paulinho. That's it right now. Just one Brazilian. I guess it just makes sense to take Christian Eriksen to just have that option there. Right, so we have got the 11 nations in. Yeah, Wijnaldum or Verratti would be... Oh, my days. Una matata. It means no worries. That's a really good link. What do we need to get full chem on this? Zhao Cancelo at right back. That'll give us six chem points. Take us to 95. It will actually take us to... Uh, it'll give us six, nine. It will give us 12 chem points. Zhao Cancelo is what we need. Literally, he is, he is the one that can change this whole draft. We could start with a Bernardo Silva in there. It would actually give us chemistry overall. Do we have? Oh, we already have a Portuguese player. Never mind, just kidding. I'm actually still tempted to take Bernardo Silva and actually drop out Renato Sanchez. I have two Spanish players. Oh, I do have two Spanish players. I'm going to take Bernardo Silva. I do have two Spanish players. There's Jao Cancelo. Right, I'm taking him now. He goes in there. Now we need to get rid of Jordi Alba, which isn't difficult. Tete just pops in there, although that loses Hakuna Matata some chemistry. Now we just need to get rid of Renato Sanchez. All right, we've got five picks to go. This has got some potential, though. Aaron Benzema. We have French we can't take. Max. Max at left back is going to be good. Do we have any Germans yet? No. Max at left back is going to be good. Boom. One bonus chem point. So we just need to get rid of... One of the Portugueses. already have Spain. We already have English. Can't really take it. We just we need to get rid of Renato Sanchez or Jao Cancelo. If we get like a different Premier League right back, that will still be decent. Can't use Ariola because we've got Desai. Take Rebic for the rating there. Could get rid of. Uh, Ooh, Hyung Min Son's good. Grealish we can't use. Ilicic just doesn't fit. Paqueta we can't use because of Neymar. Elez we can't use because of Neymar. If we took Son and got rid of Ferran Torres, we don't actually have a right wing. We're going to take Son anyway just because of the rating. Two more to go. Zielinski. Ooh, Van Aanholt is nice. We don't have Dutch, do we? Van Aanholt is very nice. Because if we take Van Aanholt, we can put... don't have enough Premier League players. We just don't have enough Premier League players. Don in and Jordi Alba in. Yeah, but then we get no... Uh, don't get enough links. I'm going to take Van Aanholt because he, he gives us an option. Now, Hyung Min Son and Van Aanholt are big. Hoiberg goes in. Neymar comes out. And Arnholt goes in. That's 100 chemistry. There's no two players from the same nation apart from the Portugueses. We can quite easily fix that. 
by putting stones over there. Can't quite easily fix that. Damn it. Can we put anyone in this midfield? Ooh, that's that's all right. How about if we put Jordi Alba up front? That's all right. Oh, we can't. We've got two Spanish players already. Do we have a Brazilian? We don't. Can't use Brazilian. Can't use French. Can't use Spanish. Can use Yilmaz there. So if we got a Premier League manager, doesn't isn't enough. French League manager doesn't work. We can only get two extra chem points from this point onwards. Or black up front. Yeah, or black and Acuna might be all right. Right, that's all right. If we can get either a La Liga manager, 100 chem, an Argentinian Premier League manager, 100 chem, or a Danish La Liga manager, which or like would or like would work anyway. Let's put Max onto the bench. It's only 90 rated. I'm actually mad surprised at how low the rating is there because there are some monster cards in there. We just need a La Liga manager. We didn't get a La Liga manager. We've got an Argentinian for 99. Portuguese doesn't work. Brazilian doesn't work. Belgian doesn't work. German doesn't work. So, Carlinho sent a mid Neymar striker. Both Brazilian. But there you go, guys. Not a bad attempt, to be fair. We got a 191 in the last one, which I think is actually very good. That is going to be the end of the video today. Let me know down below what other draft challenges you want to see. I think next time we're going to do uh, 11 with the rainbow draft, right? Where we have 11 different card types, which we're not far off of on this one. But that's going to be fun as well. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.